Hello friends, welcome to governmentjobsreflection.com. My name is Preeti and today we're going to learn percentage, right? It's a second type of percentage. In first type, I have taught you a table which is very important. Uh, that table should be on your fingertips, right? Anyways, let's start with the second type, right? Before starting this chapter, I would like to say you one thing. This chapter is totally based on one funda that is when price is increased, then consumption will decrease, right? And when price will decrease, then consumption will increase, right? Uh, I have mentioned it here as, as well. Price decrease, then consumption increase. Price increase, then consumption is decreased, right? Anyways, let's start. The question is, if the price of petrol decreases by 20%, it means that the price was 100 and now it has decreased by 20%, it means rupees 80. Uh, by what percent you can increase your consumption so that expenditure remains same, right? Uh, if price is decreased, now price is decreased, so consumption will increase. This is a funda when price increase, when price decreases, then consumption will increase, right? This is inverse proportion, right? So now see how much it is increasing. It is increasing 20. This is uh, this price is decreased by 20 percent, but this consumption is not increases by. 20%, right? But see the gap, gap is 20. Is increased on 80. This 20 is increased on this 80. And we have to get the person. So we get 25% as an answer. It means the consumption is increased by 25%, right? Now see the next question. If A is 10% more than B, let, if A is 10% more than B, let B is 100. So A would be 110, right? Now then B is what person less than A? B is what person? B is 100 and A is 110, right? So the uh, it is increased by 10. B is 10 less than A, but this, this is not a percentage, right? Now this 10 is decreased on 110 and we have to get the person, right? So this is cancelled. And we get 100 by 11. And I have taught you in first type a table in which I have taught you all the percentage, right? So it means A, it means B is this much person less than 2 A, right? Now, third question if A gets 10 person marks less than B, and B gets 25% more than C and C gets 20% less than D, right? First of all, we have to write all the characters here, right? And in this type of question, we always start from the end, right? Always put last character as 100, right? So now start from the end. So it, the question is, C gets 20% less than B. If B is 100, C would be 80. Because it is 20% less than to D. Fine. Now B gets 25% more than to C. It means 25%, right? What is 25% of 80? That is 20. Now add this 20 in 80, we get 100. It means B, B's value is 100, right? Now, A gets 10% marks less than 2B. 10% marks 
less it means 10 percent less of 100 is 90 right now if a gets 360 out of 500 a gets 360 a gets 360 but we are given 90 right so 360 is 4 times of 90 360 is given a's value is given uh, now 360 is 4 times of 90 right so we have to get the percentage of obtained by d we have to get the value of we have to get the percentage of d so multiply this 4 with these value these value is 400 right and we have to get the percentage of D. It means D got 400 mark, 400 marks. D got 400 marks out of 500. It is given. And we, when we solve this, we get 80%. It means D's value is D obtained. 80% marks in the examination, right? These three portions are very important in every examination. We, or we generally see, majorly see this type of portion. So, it was the second type of percentage. Keep watching and keep learning. Thank you so much.